We must acknowledge that Gutman Community College is located on the island of Manahatta, which is part of the larger lands known as the Lenape Ho King. These lands are the unceded territory of the Lene Lenape, Shinnecock, Kanasi, and Muncie peoples. We, the Gutman Community College community, acknowledge that academic institutions, indeed the nation itself, was founded upon and continues to enact exclusions and erasures of indigenous peoples. This acknowledgement demonstrates a commitment to beginning the process of working to dismantle ongoing legacies of settler colonialism and to recognize the hundreds of indigenous nations who continue to resist, live, and uphold their sacred relations across their lands. We also pay our respect to indigenous elders, past, present, and future, and to those who have stewarded this land throughout the generations. Greetings, Grizzlies. My name is Charles Pryor, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Vice President for Student Engagement here at Gutman Community College. Today, it is my honor to welcome you to the 2021 Student Convocation. Today's lineup of speakers is here to talk to you about what your fall is gonna look like, but also to challenge you to get engaged, participate, and continue much of the work that many of you have done through in our bridge program. We're also here to congratulate you because Bridge isn't easy. We recognize that you had some hard work over the past week. And we want you to know that you, you are better prepared for the fall. We're here today with a number of special messages, but our first special message comes from our new president, Dr. Larry Johnson. He's here to talk to you about all of the things Gutman, but most importantly, as your chief advocate, he's here to give you a message as a fellow new Grizzly. Grizzlies, congratulations. I look forward to seeing you around. Take care. Thank you so much for the introduction, VP Pryor. Hello, Grizzlies. Uh, that is a name that you'll become familiar with throughout your academic journey at the Stella and Charles Gutman Community College. I am Dr. Larry Johnson, and I have the distinct pleasure of serving as your college president. I'm actually beginning this journey with you as I began serving Gutman on July 1st, a little over a month ago. It is certainly an honor to welcome in the first class under my leadership. If you're watching this program, that means that you have successfully completed what we affectionately call Bridge or Summer Bridge. During Bridge, you were introduced to the uniqueness that makes us who we are. The Gutman model is one that will engage you in various ways to think critically and analytically, but within a cohort of your peers, also called the house. You will be supported by peer mentors, student success advocates, and a host of dynamic faculty and staff. So congratulations on your first step toward academic attainment. As you prepare for the academic term or fall one, I want you to know that I acknowledge that this has been a tough 16 months. The world was crippled by the novel coronavirus and we continue to grapple with the uncertainties of its impact. But as a college community, we remain ready to ensure that you are successful. We will continue to follow all CDC and university safety protocols to ensure that you have the best and safe learning environment. Becoming a college student is exciting. You will meet students from different boroughs and together each of you will take the journey toward mastering the learning concepts from your professors, librarians, and a host of dedicated student affairs professionals. I challenge you to arrive with enthusiasm and intellectual curiosity. Students oftentimes wonder, will college be hard? To that response, I will simply say, college is meant to stretch and challenge you to see yourself in the future, making a profound contribution to New York and the world. Gutman will equip you for not only transfer to a senior college or career, but life. We are a small community and we take great pride in being able to meet and get to know each student on campus. I encourage you to please ask questions where there's uncertainty, because while you are learning from us, we will be learning from you. This will be one of the most memorable experiences of your life. You might ask, what can I expect in terms of co-curricular or extracurricular activities? I was a college student once, so I know that focusing on academics is key, but your complete experience also includes those moments where you can choose to close the book or screen and enjoy being a student. 
There are several clubs and organizations that I encourage you to get involved with. But not only get involved, seek to hold leadership positions. Many of you were leaders at your respective high schools and we look forward to you leading many of the clubs and organizations or inventing new ones that will bring you excitement and that will engage your current and future peers. As I close, I want to remind you that your success is important to us. More than 22 years ago, I participated in the Bridge Program as a requirement for acceptance into Florida a and University, or FAMU. It was one of the most transformative experiences of my life. As I sat nervously awaiting speakers to conclude, I experienced a moment of enlightenment that would leave an indelible mark on my life. And that was when the speaker recited the poem, Life Without Purpose by Helen Steiner Rice. The poem reads, Life without purpose is barren indeed. There can't be a harvest unless you plant a seed. There can't be attainment unless there's a goal. And man's but a robot unless there's a soul. If you send no ships out, no ships can come in. And unless there's a contest, nobody can win. For games can't be won unless they are played and prayers can't be answered unless they are prayed. Thank you so much for attending today's program. There are several dynamic speakers that will follow me. Listen closely and take note of the important information and words of advice they will impart to you. We are all rooting for your rides. Finally, I want you to take out your cell phones, iPads, or other devices and follow me on IG. Yep, that's right. Uh, follow me at Gutman Prez. I want to hear directly from you. The first 10 students that follow me and send me a DM and listen carefully with your full name, Gutman email, and high school, I will ensure that I follow up with you for an in-person meeting when it is safe to do so. Additionally, I would like for you to follow the college social media accounts for special updates and announcements. You can follow us on IG, Facebook, and Twitter at GutmanCC. Once again, congratulations and welcome to the Gutman Community College family. Go Grizzlies! Greetings, Grizzlies! My name is Eva Fernandez and I started my role at Gutman as interim provost on August 1st, so I'm still very new to campus and like many of you students and maybe like some of the colleagues in the audience. What a great feeling, isn't it, to be at the most innovative and forward-looking campus in the city, University of New York system. I can say that with conviction. I've been at CUNY for many years and I know innovation in CUNY when I see it. And the more I learn about the community of students, faculty, and staff at Gutman, the more impressed I am. I'm honored to have the opportunity to talk to you today, and I have a brief update on some of the things that are happening in academic affairs. I offer all of you a standing invitation to get involved with that work. And I have also some thoughts for you about how this new academic year. So, but first, I actually would like to tell you something a little bit personal. I was born in the capital city of Madrid, of Spain. Uh, it's called Madrid, and in Madrid we actually call it Madrid. Um, legend has it that a king called Alfonso el Justiciero, Alfonso the Avenger, once trapped a very large grizzly while hunting the outskirts of Madrid. And that large grizzly, which is called an oso pardo in Spanish, eventually became part of the coat of arms for the city of Madrid. So that is one personal connection I have to Gutman, that I come from a grisly city. Um, I'm excited to be here with you. And indeed, this academic year, there's a lot to look forward to. For one, many colleagues have been working over the past year on developing a robust structure that will incorporate academic departments into the way that we operate as a college. This is one beautiful way that we are living up to the Gutman motto, building community, supporting success. I invite all of you to engage with this process, learn about it at least, or contribute or continue to contribute to its operationalization. We're very excited about the new design. I'm also very excited about plans underway to develop new programs. One of the motivations for this work is to diversify the options that you as students have in completing your degree at Gutman so you can succeed in the next step of your life 
at a four-year school or entering the workforce or balancing both of those worlds. This is yet another way that we strive to li live up to the Gutman motto. Here, we're supporting student success in a way that builds for our local community, the great city of New York, by giving you programs that help you enter the workforce. Those are two major initiatives that are being brought forward by colleagues in the office of the provost in collaboration with many faculty and with just about every unit at the college. And I'd like to thank everyone who has been involved and all of you who will continue to be involved for your mission focused and really intelligent contributions to these initiatives. There is one more thing that I'd like to bring up with you. We have learned so much this past year this past year and a half actually, and we have suffered greatly, collectively and individually. And yet, I'm convinced that some good will come out of this traumatic experience. At my previous institution, I got to see firsthand how the supports that we provided for students during the pandemic really worked uh, positively. These supports included community building, advocacy, robust advising, experiential learning, and connection to academic and non-academic supports. These are the things that Gutman does so well. The, the experience of providing these supports and doing so in a predominantly online and emergency mode has given me a strong sense of opportunity, a sense that the best in ourselves is still to come. In psychology, this is called post-traumatic growth. We made it through the hardest period of our lives and we're ready to take on the next big challenge. And if you don't feel that sense of opportunity, that's okay. I want you to know that we've got your back. Let us know how we can help you. We care deeply about your success in the Gutman community. Thank you so much for your attention and let us celebrate together the beginning of this academic year. I look forward to getting to know all of you. Go Grizzlies! Hello, incoming class of 2021. Welcome and so nice to speak with you, although it would be a lot better to be able to do it in person, but we will in a few weeks. My name is Louis Zambrano and I am one of the professors in the first year experience. On behalf of myself and all the faculty, I just wanna say that we're excited to start a new year with each of you. So we welcome you, but we also welcome the community that comes with you. So we welcome your family, friends, those special ones who inspire you, especially those who support you as you begin challenging new endeavors. It may even include those who may no longer be with us as some students have shared with me. We each get motivation in our own unique, sometimes very personal way. No one travels alone, so take stock of all who have inspired you and continue to inspire you as you begin your college career. You will create another community here. Most colleges now know, and Gutman as much as anyone else, learning happens best in community. As you know, the Gutman Learning Community is designed to include your experience, your perspectives, your questions, what you value, in the work that you do. Each year we're amazed and inspired again by the lives of our students. Every incoming class is different, each student is unique. So each year we look forward to creating a new community with you. It's different every year. We learn a lot from you. Of course, you will learn a lot from working with your professors, many of whom are nationally recognized, many of them experts in their fields. We take seriously preparing you developing in you the skills you need to succeed. But that's one part of learning, right? And the very important one, to be competitive wherever this path leads you. But to get those academic skills, to develop your full capability, it is also important to respect and recognize your own wisdom, your own opinions, your perspectives, all that you already possess, what you bring from your experience. That's what makes learning have meaning. Academic work is most effectively developed when it is included and inspired by your real selves. Your experience may include a lot of challenges that you've overcome already, you know, not just the experience of living through a pandemic or the recent social justice and political events of the past couple of years, but all that you bring up to this point. I mean, you've been through a lot. Imagine your experience and the stories that you'll be able to tell your grandkids one day. Right now I'm reading an essay by the late great novelist Toni Morrison, look her up, who reminds us all, she says, you are your best thing. 
So what part can you play in the community you will help create here at Gutman? Toni Morrison also said that if there's a book that you want to read and it hasn't been written yet, then you must write it. So I also say if there's a need that has not been met or a problem that hasn't been solved or a service that needs to be provided, you see these things, then you must meet that need, solve that problem, provide that service. Are you interested in contributing to existing communities at Gutman, like United Men of Color, UMOC, or the Women of Grit, or new communities started by students recently, such as the LGBTQ Club, or many students of my In My House started online homework communities to support each other and to hold each other accountable each week for the academic goals that we work towards. But the important thing is that you stay true to yourself. We are each comfortable acting in our own personal way. You may be a quiet person like myself, who likes to work behind the scenes, who connects with others in different ways. Perhaps you're a good listener, or perhaps you are that leader or that more vocal leader. So what place do you see yourself creating in this community, your new learning community? A quick word about communication. It may surprise you to know, as a math teacher, I'm a math teacher that I respect, even prefer, when students learn the value of making mistakes, when they know they're not being judged by those errors. Real learning takes work and excellence takes time. So we respect the fact that you may not understand something, that's normal. And we have to work hard as, as faculty to make sure you're comfortable in sharing that with us. Most students in my classes are relieved to find out that they're not alone, feeling lost or confused. One of the most important lessons during the pandemic is how much more important it is to make the effort to stay connected, to not be discouraged by your isolations. But no matter what challenge we face, we'll get through it. Deadlines are important, but if you need time or you're struggling, reach out and say, hey, I'm having trouble on this, or I may not be able to complete this now or today, or I'm really lost. We don't hear from you, we can't do anything. Be assertive in other ways as well. For instance, many of my students who reached out for accommodations, many for health-related issues or other special needs or learning disabilities, or just finding out what works for you in the classroom. Our great accessibility office awaits to assist you, as do the faculty. I have had during, uh, students during this past year of the pandemic who experienced great challenges at home, may, maybe like many of you. Some who had to take on parenting responsibilities, cooking for, uh, the family or for younger brothers and sisters, um, caring for older people who may have gotten ill. This is the real challenges that we face in our lives. And we have ways that may help and support you when these things arise. But if we don't know, we can't help. So keep the lines of communication open. Um, one of the most important ones is that we can connect you with our Gutman Connect Center, the great center here that provides those kinds of help for food, financial hardship, housing options, etc. The last of the three, community, communication, the last one, commitment. It's okay if you're wondering about your preparation or what you're doing or what you will study or what your goal is, that's normal. But when you decide, power will follow you. You know, decisions is what changes lives and you're making one now. If you're aware of the famous book Siddhartha by Herbin Hess, there is magic in every beginning Something in the universe, whatever you believe in, something happens when someone says, I'm going to make a commitment. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I may not be prepared, but I'm going to go for it. It's not where you are right now with skills that matters. It's where you end up. Visualize that goal. Do you see where you want to be? Say it to yourself. I'm going to earn my bachelor's or my master's degree, or I'm going to earn my PhD, my doctor degree. One day, you will all of a sudden notice what you have accomplished and it will amaze you. So begin. It is hard work, but the challenge is what makes success sweeter. With your commitment, nothing will stop you. Remember, nothing stops commitment. Remember what uh, success really is. A famous basketball coach, a college basketball coach who won 10 national championships. Look him up, West Coast, extra credit. His definition of success is that it is the self-satisfaction of knowing that you did the best to become the best that you are capable of becoming. So on behalf of all the faculty, we look forward to working with you this year to support you on your academic adventure. See you soon. Hello class of 2023. 
On behalf of the faculty, I'm delighted to welcome you to Gutman. We are so excited for the year ahead. We have prepared a wonderful set of courses in the first year, and I encourage you to make friends and seek out your faculty during office hours. The faculty here at Gutman have vast experiences in their fields, and they're here to help you as you challenge ideas and create new ones. Our classrooms, in person and online, are open spaces that encourage active participation. Many of our courses also have fieldwork components. Some of you will even get a chance to take an internship in your major. Here at Gutman, we believe in your future. And now more than ever, in this time of great change, in this time of great advocacy, we need your unique talents. I mention unique talents because each of you, each of you have something special to share. If something feels hard, don't get nervous. I wish you all the best on this part of your academic journey, and I look forward to seeing many of you in the months ahead. Welcome, Grizzlies. Greetings, class of 2023. My name is Danny Ambrose, and I am proud to serve as your Assistant Dean of Student Support in the Division of Student Engagement. Congratulations on your successful completion of the Summer Bridge program. The past week, you have devoted meaningful time to sharpening your academic skills and making connections with faculty, advisors, and other important campus resources. My hope is that you were also able to interact and connect with fellow classmates, even if only in a discussion board or a Zoom room. However brief these interactions, please know that the seeds of relationship have been planted and these peer connections will continue to grow as we move into our fall semester. You chose Gutman for reasons that are important to you and to your families. And we are so happy that you did. Today marks your official entrance into the Grizzly family. Today, let's commit to looking ahead to all that's possible as a Gutman student. On behalf of the Division of Student Engagement, I urge you to take an active role in your college experience from day one. Whether this means attending wellness programs, utilizing tutoring services, or attending faculty-led discussions, I challenge you to opt in. I encourage you to act with intention as you explore student leadership, club, and peer mentoring opportunities. I implore you to celebrate each academic achievement and double down if you recognize the need for additional support. Our faculty, staff, and peer leaders are here to guide you every step of the way. It is my belief as an educator that college is a place to discover the depth and power of your voice, a place to practice using your voice in the pursuit of your purpose and your passion. May Stella and Charles Gutman Community College be this place for you. Congratulations on this first milestone as a college student and best wishes on a successful fall semester. Greetings Grizzlies, my name is Bashir Juara, your SGA president. I would like to officially welcome you to Government Community College. At the Summer Bridge program, you have been introduced to all the resources available to you. As you start your academic journey, make sure to continue to use them to get to the finish line. I remember my own ritual Summer Bridge experience last year and feeling unsure about the next steps. But I now know that my faculty and staff always have your back. Student government is here for you too. Never hesitate to reach out to us, your advisors or professors. Stay engaged. You'll be well on your way to succeed at Gutman and beyond. Go Grizzlies! Hello incoming freshmen. I hope you and your families are doing well through the past challenging years. My name is Irene Joy Fadolino. I recently graduated at Gutman in June of this year as salutatorian and I'm currently attending Hunter College. Also, I work with a program called College and Career Bridge for All with CUNY and the Department of Education as a bridge coach. I bet all of you are wondering how the next two years at Gutman will be for me. Will I make any friends? 
how are the professors? Is college as scary as they make it seem? But don't worry, that was me too. Maybe even more nervous because I did not know anyone and no one came from my high school. The first time I walked through the doors, I had butterflies in my stomach and was at the edge of my seat because I didn't know what was going to happen next. Then I received the biggest plot twist because my two years at Gutman was definitely a big change for me. The pandemic happened. My first and only semester in person was at Gutman and the rest was all online. It added even more questions to my list like, what will happen to my classes? I just got used to college, how will it be now? Like most students at that time, I was more upset that I wasn't going to be on campus every day, surrounded by my professors and friends. But that's the thing about Gutman. Even if you're not actually on campus, I still felt that support and care. Now, fast forward, I kid you not, as time flew by, my time at Gutman was the highlight and great beginning to my college years, even though I was just physically here for a semester. But you probably think I'm just saying that because I am here today. But every time someone asks me about Gutman, I will always say, best school ever. That's my school. I really felt a sense of community that I barely felt when I was in high school. My cohort became my family and my friends made me so excited that I would run into the atrium every morning. Even when the pandemic hit, my professors were constantly reassuring and showed their unconditional support every day. Speaking about professors, the faculty and staff at Gutman are amazing people. The professors that I had went beyond teaching me the curriculum and gave me the skills that I now use in my four-year college. They taught me to always believe in myself and never had a doubt in the success of their students. My professors were the reason I pushed myself harder than I ever did, but they also gave me the most confidence and faith I had in myself too. If I could switch places with all of you and repeat my experience at Gutman, I would do it in a heartbeat. You might think that it, my experience was too good to be true. I thought so too. But Gutman is more than just a college. It was and is still my home away from home. It's the people and care that they give that makes you feel loved and safe. Just some academic related tips I would like to share with all of you. First, if you want to do well, don't do it for anyone else but yourself because you're the only one that will keep pushing yourself through the semester. Second, take advantage and use all the resources Gutman gives you like clubs, therapy slash mental health resources and social events. Third, always be respectful and nice to your professors and staff. They're people too. And fourth, surround yourself with peers that motivate you to do better. It makes a huge difference. And fifth, even if it is something that is out of your comfort zone, just do it. Everything is a learning experience and it never hurts to try. But some advice I personally want to tell you all is make sure the things that you want to do is something that genuinely makes you happy. Because at the end of, at, at the, end of the day, you are the one living your life. Always take care of yourself. Put your own mental and physical health first. And lastly, take a deep breath because everything is going to be fine. Put in the work and remember you're in control with the, the success that you want. I promise you that you are in great hands. I wish you all the best and I have no doubt that each and every one of you will do great things. Congratulations and welcome to Gutman. for attending and choosing Gutman as your place 
for the next level of your education. Our campus looks a little different this year. However, we are here to help to support you and guide you through your academic journey. Our primary goal at the Office of Student Conduct, all OSC for short, is to educate you as to your rights, your responsibilities, but also our functions and our responsibilities. Welcome to Gutman. Thank you for choosing us. And as always, we have your back. Hi, I'm Courtney from the Wellness Office. Congratulations on completing Summer Bridge. College is an exciting time and I encourage you to jump in with both feet. Get involved, go to events, put yourself out there and meet people. It will only enrich your time at Gutman. I look forward to meeting you and I wish you a great fall semester. Hi, and welcome to Gutman. My name is Dana LePage and I'm the Associate Director of the Connect Center here. My best advice for you is to get involved as much as possible. That includes reaching out to your professors and your advisors, attending workshops and events, and getting to know the various offices on campus, especially the student engagement offices. We're all here to support you. Best of luck and hope to meet you soon. Hi Grizzlies, my name is Joanna Wisniewski. I'm the Communications Manager at Gutman, and welcome. My advice to you on this new journey is to follow all the Gutman social media accounts. Stay engaged, stay involved, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Gutman faculty and staff are dedicated to helping you succeed. And have fun! Hello, Gutman Grizzlies. Welcome to Gutman. My name is Luis Gutierrez from the Office of Accessibility, and I wanted to share some things for you to keep in mind that I believe will be helpful for you as new students. First thing, always remember to check your Gutman emails because there is plenty of information that will be shared. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it, whether it's emailing your professors or meeting with them during their office hours or scheduling meetings with your SSA. And if you need assistance with your classes, make sure to schedule your tutoring sessions. Last thing, if you require accommodations, please reach out to our Office of Accessibility team. We are here to help you any way we can. I wish you the best and hope you have an amazing experience. Take care, and I will see you soon. The Office of Advising and Transfer Support wants to congratulate you on your successful completion of Summer Bridge. Our advising team is extremely excited to begin working with you this fall to guide you in building the necessary skills and confidence to progress through Gutman and onto a senior college and or career within a meaningful time frame. Don't forget to check your Gutman email for details on future advising programs and connect with us by logging onto your success network in Starfish. Congratulations again and best wishes on your fall semester. Hi Grizzlies, my name is Nicole. I'm one of the clinicians in the wellness office. I'm so excited to have you join the Gutman community. 
There's so many supportive services available to students. I encourage you all to go on the Gutman website and click on the student tab to learn all about them. That's www.gutman.cuny.edu. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, this is your admissions team welcoming you to our doors. We are so excited that you chose Gutman and we wish you the utmost success in your college journey. Hey Grizzlies, congratulations. You are officially a Gutman student. My name is Patricia Jean and I'm the Career Program Manager in the Center for Career Preparation and Partnerships, also known as CCPP. Some advice to you as you begin your college journey, make sure you check your emails every day. Engage with us, come to workshops, come to events, and it's never too early to connect with us in the Career Center. Greetings, greetings, incoming squad. I am Professor Valden Taubatis, teacher of English and writing here at Gutman. And I just wanted you to know that the community in the college is very real. So tap into that community and have a wonderful experience. Congratulations and welcome to Gutman Community College. Um, I'm Dr. Lim, one of the co-instructors of the American Studies course Introduction to Social Justice for House One. Um, I know it's been a crazy year and a half to say the least. Um, we've faced a mountain of challenges and so much uncertainty. But one thing I can say for sure is that we're all so, so excited to meet you. We're looking forward to getting to know you and to working together as a team to support you in your educational journey here at Gutman. So best of luck and see you soon.
Greetings, everyone. Saludos a todos. My name is Professor Douglas Medina, and I will be the team leader for your house, house number two. I'm a political and social scientist, and as the house two team leader, I will be in charge of coordinating the support system that includes the professors in your classes, as well as your SSA to help you succeed at government. So I hope that you're as excited as I am about the fall 2021 semester. I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you, hopefully in person, if we can ensure that the building will be safe for in-person interactions. So stay tuned. In the meantime, take care, stay strong and healthy. Bye. Welcome to House 3. I'm Professor Allen. I'll be teaching Ethnographies of Work. I'm happy to see you at Gutman, and I look forward to spending time and getting to know you. All right. Hope you enjoy your summer, and I'll see you soon. Welcome to Gutman and to your next adventure. I am Professor April Burns, Assistant Professor of Psychology, and I will be teaching your Ethnographies of Work course this fall. I look forward to getting to know each of you over the course of the academic year. Over the course of this year at Gutman, you won't be answering other people's questions or solving problems that are not relevant to you. Instead, you will be learning and practicing the tools that will allow you to ask your own important questions and to answer those questions yourself. 
You will, of course, be supported in your academic journey um, by our whole house, including all of your professors and your SSA. As team leader of House 4, I will be coordinating with our incredible SSA the many support services um, and systems that are in place for students at Gutman. So reach out early and often um, to us. We want to hear from you and we are here to support you. Hi everyone, I've been asked to do an intro video. My name is uh, Louis Zambrano and I am one of your instructors. I have uh, a math background so I do quantitative reasoning arguments and logic within your writing courses. And I'm also the house leader for ho our house. Our house is house five and we have about a hundred of you students and I coordinate the teaching among all the classes that you have. I've been at Gutman for about seven years and before that at other CUNY colleges and I also taught in the South Bronx for a while and I'm originally from Columbia. Um, look forward to meeting all of you though and I really respect the work you had to do to get admitted here to be able to qualify and also just look you know making sure you're in college. What a tough nut to crack especially after this last year so great job and I look forward to meeting all of you and see you at Summer Bridge okay take care. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Professor Fortier, a lecturer of interdisciplinary studies here at the college, uh, the instructional team leader for House 6, as well as one of your instructors for Introduction to Social Justice, which I'll be teaching with Professor Pai. Um, you know, we're both really excited to be teaching that class as one part of House 6. 
Um, you know, you also have EOW, stats, and your SSA, along with comp. And so, you know, with all of those classes, we make up house six, all the instructors, and we are, you want, want you to think of us sort of as your home, you know? And so we're really excited to kind of support you in this first year and, um, you know, work our way through it together. Um, can't wait to meet all of you. Hope you have a great year. Again, welcome to Gutman. Thank you to all of our speakers. Grizzlies, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you in the fall. Remember this from the messages that you've heard today. As you know, all of us are invested in your success. We got your back. Take care, Grizzlies.